Jen? Yeah, I sat in that courtroom right next to 13-year-old Rodrigo's grandmother as they listened to the arraignment. They were holding their composure, but they were visibly upset. The hardest part, I think, was when they heard that the defendant, 20-year-old Alexander Tito Oros, had no remorse. And the family told me after court they believe that he still has no remorse. I can't imagine how he was feeling. <laughs> When he was coming down the hill, he told them to stop. My daughter did too, and he kept on pushing the, pushing the gas pedal. <laughs> My kids were scared. That's Norma Tapia. She's 13-year-old Rodrigo's mom, who died in this car crash in Escondido Saturday night. Prosecutors say 20-year-old Alexander Tito Oros was underage, drunk, and responsible for killing Rodrigo and hurting Rodrigo's big sister, Oros's girlfriend, Jasmine, and the driver of this pickup truck. Prosecutors say Oros is a threat to the community. He shows no regard for public safety when he was speeding through a 40 miles per hour posted zone. He was speeding between 91 to 119 miles per hour. Oros's attorney says... Uh, he is, uh, has community times, he is employed, he has lived here his whole life. Uh, he um, has no priors, no criminal history, no active cases. Because 20-year-old Oros is underage, the judge said in court today Oros's blood alcohol content at the time of the crash should have been zero. Oros's BAC was .097, 40 minutes after the crash. He's now facing felony vehicular manslaughter and other charges. Prosecutors say Oros's speed was anywhere between 91 and 119 miles per hour when he hit that pickup truck. The driver of the truck is still in the hospital. Jasmine is out of the hospital. She's doing good and she's just lost. Before, I thought he was a sweet guy. He would always open the door for my daughter like a gentleman. And um, now I know he's not that guy.